guys, I'm Carly, and today I'm doing a lot of hand motions already. Here we go. This is how today's gonna be. <laughs> okay guys, first of all, we hit a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys, and that feels like 30,000 unicorns dancing on top of rainbows and vomiting out magical vomit. That's what a thousand subscribers feels like, so pretty rad. And I just love doing this whatever I do on YouTube. It's so much fun. And I'm so thankful for all of your support and your kind words and your motivation to keep me going. It's just honestly the best feeling in the world. So thank you so much. And for that, I think I'm gonna do a thousand subscriber Q&A, my first Q&A ever. So truly guys, you gotta comment down below any questions you have for me and I will answer in the next video. Yay, so exciting. Today I'm doing the what's in my bag tag. I'm not sure if it's a tag, but I always find myself on marathons of what's in my bag videos. I watch them late late at night. It's just like so creepy, <laughs> such an in invasion of privacy. And I love that. I think it's so cool to see what else people keep in their bags. And I thought I'll do that video too. It's really cool. You guys get to see what I carry around in my day to day life to and from work and all the other really exciting things that I do. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I am going to Florida in like literally four days or something. So soon. And I'll be posting tons of tropical, pastel themed, colorful photos. So don't miss out on those. And I will be more on Instagram than on the YouTubes while I'm in Florida. So catch me there if you need to, you know, chat me up, ask me a question or comment something mean. I know you're just begging me to get into this video and to see what's in my bag. Begging me to bag. I'm trying here, <laughs> let's just go to the video. All right, so first of all, the type of bag I have is a Kate Spade New York bag. I have no idea what the name of it is. I actually got an at an outlet because dang, these things are expensive and I definitely cannot afford a regular priced one. This one I love, it perfectly fits my MacBook Pro. Um, it holds so much stuff. It has all these little zippy zips going on in here. That, that also fits my laptop, but I usually just put it in the main thingy because I'm much too lazy to zip and unzip things. It has a little clasp in there, and it's light pink, which I freaking love, and it's heavy. It's like probably like 40 pounds. There's so much stuff in here. All right, so the first thing in my bag is this fake Prada wallet that my dad got me when he went to China. I love it. Um, I don't really mind fake products. Of course, if I could afford the real ones, I would buy the real ones but I think it's super cute. Pink matches my bag. Um, yeah, holds tons of stuff, tons. So yeah, very cute. Prada, not Prada, not a Prada, not a Prada. Next in my bag, I carry my ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Gloss in Love Muffin, my favorite color, inspired by Carly Bible whenever she wears it, I like, I love that color. So it's actually my first ColourPop purchase and I have purchased tons more <laughs> things from that site. It is actually addicting at how cheap the prices are and how beautiful and long-lasting the lip color is. And along with that, I have the Birdie Pencil. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It's what I'm wearing right now. I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. So it's always in my bag now. And it's pink again. Look at that, thematic. So I always have backup nail polish just in case I get bored somewhere and feel like I need to do something. I have a very short attention span, so that's a thing. Um, right now, I have this gross freaking no-name brand. I honestly can't do the no-name brands on my nails. It always trips off after like literally 25 minutes. So Essie is my go-to, always stays on. This is my favorite color by Essie. It is, I think it's um, Bikini So Teeny. Amazing, <laughs> that's pretty cute. I wish I could name nail polishes. That would be a dream, actually. Next, I have my hand sanitizer. Yes. This is from Julia McNew. If you guys watched my swap video, you know she gave me this. It's so freaking adorable. So it's snow from Bath and Body Works. It's so cute. It's like glittery too. And it sanitizes my hands so I don't get sick. My mom actually got me hooked on this. Carmex, freaking so good for my lips. I've tried a lot of other things and they still crack in winter. In Canada, winter is freaking cold as well. My lips are constantly dry from the wind and it's nasty. So Carmex really lathers them up all day long. And I also have Vaseline, my backup to my Carmex. Sometimes I'll put it on parts of my face when they're really, really dry. I know it's probably really bad for you, but 
and honestly helps me moisturize the really irritated parts of my face and sometimes my arms. I used to get bad um, dry skin on my arms and now it's pretty much cleared up. Next, I have this very old bottle. Still, still have some left in here. Um, Oahu hand cream from Bath & Body Works. Even if I just smell bad that day, I just put this on and literally everyone's like, you smell so good. I'm like, it's a lie. All right, literally snacks all the time. Naked bars, I am gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. So these things, they're called naked bars. They're my lifesaver. They taste so good and the ingredients are so small, so healthy. Ingredients are dates, cashews, raisins, and cocoa. Amazing, it really curbs my cravings for sweets and I sometimes have them after the gym. They're not a full meal bar, but they're definitely satisfaction during the day when I'm bored or want a snack. <laughs> Baby deodorant, gotta, gotta do it. Not like for babies, it's like smaller. Wow. So yes, this deodorant, I can't go anywhere with a deodorant. I always get scared that I smell. So I really gotta just keep this at, at arm's length. Here we go. <laughs> I have my reading glasses. Lately, my eyes are not so hot. These have like no prescription. I got them to look cool, but I'm actually gonna need glasses like really soon, so this is sad. But yeah, these are pretty old, but I look like five times smarter, right? And I have been off caffeine for about two and a half weeks now, off and on, but I'm mostly trying to wean it out. It makes me feel so much better, less bloated, and sometimes I do have more energy, sometimes I need a little bit of pick me up, but. Caffeine was just making me way too bloated and I just I just wanted to stray away from it for a bit and see how I felt and I actually feel really good. But I do carry tea and it's usually herbal tea but I think these might have caffeine in them. Uh, I have ginger and I have kombucha tea in my life. It's kombucha. These things have been saving my life all winter and when I go to the gym. They have electrolytes, vitamin C, packed with just like really good nutrients, antioxidants and things like that. So they defend from sickness and they help me when I'm at the gym to get some energy and just yeah, stay hydrated. So I just slip these in some water and I'm good to go. So one of my like tips to be confident is to always have nice teeth and nice smelling breath. That way I just feel better and I can feel like I can talk freely and I know like my teeth look good and I don't know, it's just something about me that I just get a little bit obsessed with when I'm like, especially when I'm going for an interview or something, I have mouthwash and I have floss just to make sure that I am just flawless in the mouth region. So you know, hire me, I've got nice teeth. <laughs> I don't know, it sounds so stupid when I say it out loud, but yeah, I carry that in my bag all the time. I carry Tylenol, I've been getting headaches recently. I really don't like to take medication unless I really, really have to, but I have it just in case anyone else needs it at work or something or someone on the street wants some drugs. Okay, what? I don't do that. I don't give out free drugs, okay? I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so I love to write things down. Um, when I get a thought, I need to immediately write it down. Usually sometimes in my phone, but I also have sticky notes just on me, just stuck around my house. So this is very important to me. Big important things in my life have been written down on sticky notes. I also have my water bottle. Literally can't go anywhere without my water bottle. I put my emergency in there. I have water, like, Six bottles a day, I just need to be hydrated or else I feel like caca. So, love me some water, love me this bottle. Mm, yes, hydration. Another thing always in my bag is very difficult. My phone, yes, can't go anywhere without this thing. It's basically my life, iPhone success, yeah. Success for success, yeah. That was kind of bad, it's okay, mm, forgive me. Oh, and a big thing that I would love to have in my bag is a vlogging camera, but I'm still saving up my cash for that. So, hopefully in my updated what's in my bag, I'll have way more cool equipment to take around with me because the camera I have now is a little bit too big for my purse, especially with the microphone on it. But, yeah, the updated one will have much cooler equipment today, and I actually can't wait for that in like a year or so. Um. So that is everything in my bag, minus all of the receipts I threw out before this video to make sure my purse was very clean. Haha, <laughs> not gonna lie, guys. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and would like to see more videos and whatever, just like the video. I never know what to say about why you should like it. Like it if you like it, <laughs> that's all. And don't forget to subscribe and join a thousand other people that find me mildly entertaining, and that's pretty cool. You'll be a part of the, I don't have a squad name, I don't have 
a name for my subscribers yet, so I really need help with that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back at you with my Q&A video for my thousand subs. Thousand subs. I have a thousand subs. That's crazy. My thousand subs Q&A video coming up really soon. I literally want to hug all of you. And I've been working out, so it'd be a, it'd be a nice squeeze. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Yeah.